Steve. Some corn on the cob for our for our fish boil. Uh, then we're gonna do some fried fish, some walleye and some pike. Some then walleye and pike. Potatoes, corn. This could be good. And then about gonna, twenty and pounds of crawfish. Yeah, we're gonna see how these crawfish taste. <laughs> so if we're dead, you know why. Oh man. Should be good. Walleye on the shoreline. Shore, Legit. Shoreline walleye. I'm gonna do it. I'm just walk us through the process here, man. What this you got is, there? Uh, just some egg whites and some soy and some sesame and salt and pepper. And then just doing some panko. And then we're gonna drop it in the fryer. Real easy. Real easy. I like it. I should probably put the oil on. That'd probably help. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Easy. Look at that. That's Dang, gonna be so good. Look at that. And then we're gonna dip it in that sweet sauce. Kind of like a sweet and sour type deal. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Mm. We should probably throw the corn in the piping hot boiling water. Is it boiling yet? Yeah, it's going. Here. Good. Look at that. Peel some more corn real quick. I think I've been doing it wrong all these years, tournament fishing. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, I this got over it pretty quick. This is where it's at. Do whatever we want, our own schedule. It's pouring ass rain out there. <laughs> We're in here yeah. nice and dry. If this was a tournament, I'd be out there practicing. Yeah. Get all miserable. Takes the fun out of it sometimes, man. Did you just break it or did you cut it? I broke them. Dang, man, this game, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Uh, mm. What's up? Oh! Juice! We got some corn all over the floor for Jerry. <laughs> Alright, man. Assistance. Lid. I don't want to throw them in. I just want to set them in. For like 10 minutes, right? Yeah. They take the longest to cook. So. Man! <laughs> Breakfast. Do you so want to stir it up at all? Or? Nah, dude, that water's boiling. It's moving. It's moving. All right, all right. All right, man. So we got fresh walleye and pike. We're gonna do some pike too. Never had that northern pike life before. Oh, kielbasa. That goes in later. That goes in last. Yeah. What's your preferred uh, frying oil? This is just vegetable oil. Should work. You out sponsored by Crisco. Crisco. You're gonna thank Crisco for your Bassmaster Classic win one day? Oh, yeah. You know, without this Crisco oil, I really wouldn't have the nutritional you know, right. uh, sustenance to power through this. Some guys look like they're sponsored by Crisco. Oh, ouch. Mm. Pew, pew, pew. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna get butt hurt. <laughs> Not me! Not me. I work out. I'm just little. Oh, look at that. A little pike strip. Pike strip. Should be good. Roll it in some panko. Ooh. Is this a secret family recipe? Passed down um, through the generations? I mean, my dad showed me how to do it, but I don't know if it's a secret. It's pretty, okay. pretty simple. It's pretty delicious. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Looks good. That does. Oh, man, we missed the action shot of the breadcrumbs falling in the bowl. 
Look at that chunk. Oh, what? Another pipe chunk, huh? So, like, you know, someone like myself from the West Coast, we don't have pike. Mm-mm. And you kind of hear people talking crap about eating them. Just like They're not eat. bad. No? They're pretty good. I mean, I know people that eat them. A lot of people eat them, actually. So, like, people shouldn't be, like, gagging when, when no, you're talking about no. eating pike like they do with carp. Even though I'm sure there's probably some pretty... No, I mean, species. I don't... Pike is just a predator fish. All they do is eat other fish, so... You know... They're not like a scavenger or anything, really. They, and Max um, Lowe's, apparently. Max Lowe's. Sucker! <laughs> How much should I make? Oh, well, that's probably pretty good. Two each? Two pike pieces each? Yeah, I'll do a couple pike pieces and then... If we want more, we could just cook them tomorrow. Yeah. Because we got all the stuff. This is the appetizer. Yep. First course. Fish fry. Sorry, Scott. I hate to turn down your tacos. White people tacos. <laughs> no racism. No racism. Just ground beef, lettuce, tomato. Hey, they're good though. Yeah? Simple. Oh! Oh! What do we got here? We're gonna turn this. Probably should, uh... Bring this thing down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I'll lower that down a little bit. Oh, good grief. Whoa. It's a little dangerous. Alright. Cut. Oliver left me. Making me do all the cooking. Got our food set up here. Ready to go. Waiting for those guys to get back so I can start cooking. Fish fry real fast. We got our oil going. Check out these crayfish guys. I don't know if you can see them. They are going in there. Holy mosquitoes are insane right now. I mean, holy crap, mosquitoes are insane <laughs> right now. Whoa, what do we got there? It's, it's our dinner, down. bro. It's going down. We need potatoes in there next? I put them in there. Oh, we're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, I put a, I'll put one garlic clove in there. Okay. I'm gonna do the fish now. Nice, is that thing ready to go? Almost. Snap, crackle, pop. Fish is going in there. Oh yeah. Kielbasa. Kielbasa. Fishes. All is in first. Mmm, walleye. You've done this before. I've done this before. I've never done a crazy foil before, though. Whoa! That didn't take long. That oil is pretty <laughs> hot. Dude, the oil was too hot. <laughs> Dude, that was literally like 10 seconds. They're probably done though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are. They're pretty thin. Sure, you know what I'm gonna do? Nice. What's the purpose with the paper towel, sir? Just to soak up the excess. Nice. Trying I knew be, that. Trying to be healthy. You know, yeah. I knew that. I'm just trying to explain to our friends following from home. Hmm. Pike next? Yeah. We might have to. Those got to. I mean, I'm sure they're done. I'm pretty sure they're done, dude. Is it what? flaky? Uh, oh, yeah. No? No, it's not. No. We'll, uh, 
I'll wait till it cools. Let me cool it air. down a little. We'll do these. Though. Cut. You can double do them. <laughs> oh, it's too hot. It sucks. See, that's better. Uh, so we get some more thorough cooking. You just double dip them, that's all. Fish on the fryer. They're still in fry in the kitchen. Veggies boiling in the pot. Oh man, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are these are gonna be better. Golden. Nice. I think they're looking brown. Let me cook through a little bit. Sucks to be you guys! Definitely sucks to be him. Yeah, he didn't, uh... He didn't do so hot. Two days in a holding cell. <laughs> Knife to the back of your neck. You normally purge your fish in your live well for two days? No. I just got lazy and I want to clean them. Hey, at least he's honest. Mm, mm, mm. Let's try and uh, cook those a little more. It's tough. This is like refried know. beans, right? But like with fish. Yeah, refried fish. Well, hey, we might stumble on something here. Gotta be careful, you don't wanna overcook them. Right? That's true. You don't want them raw either. No. Try to too well. No. Well, we just need to get the temperature up. Mm. They're already crispy, you know. What flavored Bass Dynasty do you prefer to dip your fish in? Pizza. Works for everything. Pizza flavor. <laughs> He's really putting the pressure on you to make some pizza. Yeah, come on, Brian. Bass Dynasty, Brian. I think that's a good one. I think we're good here. Oh, yeah, look at it flicking. You just have to go in again. Pike? Well, oh, let me make sure. Is that done? I don't know, it's kind of. Those are pretty thick. Yeah. I screwed it up. That one's done. No, that one's for sure done. This one's not. First piece of pike. Yoink. Wait, you gotta do this sauce, dude. All right, all right. Is there a little thing? That's the deal, huh? Oh, so yeah. you just dip, dip and eat. Yeah, dip and eat. Here we go. Mmm. Good. That's pretty good. You need to get the up on some of these. That's really, uh, sweet chili sauce is something I've never put fried fish in. That's pretty good. Mm. So a pork thing actually looks up pretty good. It's just, when you have the oil too hot, you burn your crust before your fish is done. Makes sense. I'm a sneaky piece of walleye now. Oh, 
Where my eyes done? Yep. Just fell right apart. Perfect. Who that be? They're calling me. Huh? My boy Adam. I'm calling back. Yeah, that wall is really good. But with that being said, I'm hot. The pipe's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Should we throw the kielbasas in yet? Um, I think we should do the craws first. Before the sausages? Hey, that's pretty done. Yeah, but well, it's gonna smell like, or it's gonna taste oh, like right. shells, you know? That's true. Good call. Yeah, let's do the kielbasa, uh, the sausage next. All these potatoes. Mmm, you guys smell that? Mmm. How do you know when potatoes are done? Just stab them. The old stab method. Oh, I just ate my first Y bone. Did you? I tried to get them all. It's all good. Oh, they're done. Cute potato, bro. You like that? All right, so what we do? Throw, just throw these in. Yep. Let that boil for a couple minutes. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. How many of those do you actually want to do at first? Should like a just dozen. Like pick out like twelve of them. Yeah, twelve of the biggest, baddest. All right, let's do that. Inmates of death row. So we'll put the corner in there. Okay. Yeah. How's the fish? It's good. You like it? The sweet chili paste is the nice touch. Oh yeah. Which Wisconsin ale pairs well with crawfish boil? Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, okay. You ain't gotta convince me. Where's my Yeti? Cheers. That's lovely. Extreme close up pan. Yo, this fish is good. It really is. You guys want to try it at home? Mmm. The pike. Got a little bit of crunch. A little pike life. Pike's not bad. It's really not. Like, I thought I was going to have to sneak all the walleye from you, you know? But, I really haven't had to. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 Crawfish Draft. have the first top 10 lottery pick here in just a moment. Hey yo, the world gonna show me some love, listen, and I'm not talking about the fake hugs and kisses. Come on, that's ripping up. The way the bass is sticking, the way my feet.